So we're at the Surrey Heath Show today. Lovely sunny day for it, obviously. Oh, yes. um, so do you want to give us a sort of an idea about what's going to be happening today with the Surrey Air Ambulance? Yes, hopefully for us, we're going to be flying in the helicopter. We're looking to about 10.30 and hopefully they'll be stationed here most of the day. Obviously, if they get a job, they will need to go. Um, but that sort of adds to the thrill of it as well. Um, but you'll be able to see the helicopter, meet the crew, sit on the aircraft if you want and see what the equipment we carry and uh, it's very exciting. So it's a good opportunity for people to find out a little bit more about what the Surrey Air Ambulance actually does. I think one of the biggest issues we have is that getting across that we are a charity and it costs 1.7 million to keep the aircraft flying. So we carry a doctor and a paramedic on board. They can anaesthetise, they can intubate, they can do open heart surgery if that's what's required. And that incident can be at the roadside, in the home or in the middle of the field, upside down. So um, they are quite incredible people and I think when you speak to them and you hear what they do and how they do it, it really gives you an idea of why it's so important that the air ambulance keeps flying. In terms of who's going to be here today, who can local people meet and what can they find out about the Surrey Air Ambulance? And they can find out about how different ways they can support us. And we have volunteers here, we have our stands, there's lots of goodies that they can purchase as well. And that for us gives us a regular income, so they can find out all about that, about our open day, which is on Sunday the 12th of June. And what we do find as well when we bring in the aircraft, a lot of people that have been survivors or people that we've gone to, they come and meet the crew as well. And they, they don't always know that they were airlifted. They don't always know what happened because we go to the major traumas, so head injuries, spinal injuries. And so it's great to be able to get out in the community and come along and we're very grateful to the people sorry heath show committee that have invited us here today and for us to bring in the, op the air ambulance and get the opportunity to help spread the word that it's fantastic news we have an air ambulance in surrey now but it does cost 1.7 million and that is all public donations <laughs> So you could just tell us a little bit about why you're here today, what you're hoping to achieve. I'm here because I'm proud of what the ambulance service do for the community of Surrey Heath and generally throughout Surrey. And I'm here with some fantastic volunteers who are volunteering their time to show firstly how to do basic life support, so in a sudden cardiac arrest, how you can prevent somebody actually dying. And I'm also here to promote the work the ambulance service did by showing you one of our brand new, uh, what we call the DMA, double manned ambulance, which will is what is traditionally expected when you dial 999. What can people expect to sort of see and learn from you today? Hopefully they'll go away thinking, well I didn't know that. That's the first challenge today. If we can go away and make people think about what the ambulance service does and really try and educate them about how it important it is that if necessary only call an ambulance in a dire emergency in those recognised uh, unexpected trauma situations or unexpected medical emergencies but also here to tell you that the ambulance service wants to hear what you think we want to know how we can better serve our communities so what, why do you think that's so important that people know about these things unfortunately no matter how much we would love it there's never going to be an ambulance on every street corner and in financial constraints as we find ourselves in in growing demographics and increasing population numbers we need to think smarter and act outside the box whilst not compromising on delivering our core ability to provide early intervention care that will help prevent, promote and uh, preserve life where possible. The ambulance service is grateful and looking for any able and willing person who can volunteer sometime. It may be a case of training to become what we call a community first responder where they're given basic medical training to respond to those life-threatening calls. They're equipped with a defibrillator and with oxygen therapy and they provide an amazing asset within the community because who better to get to a local job than somebody with local information. Somebody who's got an enhanced CLB who is trained to a high standard, regularly maintained and works in partnership with the ambulance service and who we know in those crucial moments can get there to save a life. Community responders have been success within CCAM, helping improve our out of hospital cardiac arrests statistics but more importantly it's about giving everybody a fighting chance to live. You only have to speak to some of the great guys like Paul Deitch, Andrew Veal, all those responders, Rebecca Poulton, who make a regular difference by a small commitment, not to the ambulance service, 
but to their community and that's what's really encouraging. Today is about raising their profile and thanking them for what they do. Maybe hopefully raising some funds if we can. We're always keen to buy more defibrillators because that means more equipment can be spent locally, used locally and be beneficial locally. That's my emphasis today. But let people know what great work the volunteers do and that the ambulance service is not a closed door. We want to hear your views because it's your trust.